This is a quick intro into some Boolean searching. Um, we're going to start with some basics here. Um, with, when you're searching for, on Google, obviously there's lots of things you can search for. For instance, if we started looking for uh, random names, I'm just going to type in uh, the name Hannah. Uh, there we go. So if you type in this name, you're going to notice, first of all, it gives you 121 million results. Okay, now w the one thing you have to remember is when you first started your internet searching, you used to kind of have an option like this where it would say Hannah or Love. And if you look at that, that gave you 4 uh, billion results. Okay, now Google is pretty smart on this. And what they've kind of done is when you type in Hannah Love, they automatically put an and on the inside, which gives you that 121 million results. So just to kind of prove this point, if I remove this and hit return again, you're going to notice you have Hannah Love with 121 million results. Now, you can do some basic things. So if I put uh, Hannah Love in quotes, what this is going to do is it's going to return any web page where Hannah and Love appear side by side. So you can look, now we have 136,000 results. So, but if we were looking for like an individual person, you're gonna notice that some things have obviously are going to change. You have Hannah Love, IMDB, which you could do that. But you're also gonna have some other things too where maybe some love letters or, let's see, there should be a band here. There used to be a band called Kill Hannah. There we go. This is a good example here. So this is uh, the band Kill Hannah, and the song that they have is Love You to Death. Now, the reason that returns is because, if you look at that, Hannah and Love are still side by side. So Hannah is here, and Love is side by side. So that's not exactly what we're wanting. And if we were looking for the individual person, so you might type in uh, Texas, 1,000 results. And if you wanted to get more specific, you could then go... Uh, to a town. Okay, so if you can go to Beaumont, there you go. Now, what you could do if you wanted, um, you can always go this route too. So let's type in um, just a random name. We're going to do John Jones. Oops. Okay, and you can always go to like site. Now, if you do site colon, uh, we could do like facebook.com. Right? John Jones is a pretty common name. So you can see if we do site facebook.com, it's going to return results only from Facebook, okay? And you're going to see all these John Jones on Facebook solely. Now, where this comes in handy, if you were looking for, let's say you're doing a report, and we'll just say, and you want the site to be solely from uh, nationalgeographic.com. There you go. So... If you hit uh, return on this, you're going to notice that all of the results are coming from National Geographic, nationalgeographic.com. So all of your results are there. Now, there is one other option that you might want to get rid of as well. So let's type in this. If we type in Jaguar, you're going to notice that, first of all, there's going to be the animal, but you also have the car and everything else. So if we wanted to remove the car, if you hit uh, the minus sign, and if you don't have a space, you do minus car, um, you're going to see that we go and we return the results, and now the car will disappear. And let's kind of go through this real quick. So if I go back to Jaguar, you're going to notice that, first of all, it gave us 160 million results. Okay. Now, if I hit minus and I hit a space car, it's going to think that we're kind of talking about a hyphen, but you notice it's still going to show us cars, and, and uh, that's not what we want. If you use the minus sign, you can't have a space behind it. So if we do that this way, you're going to notice now it removes those results and gives us 116 million results. But you could also kind of do this as a combination to, uh, you could do it America if you wanted, whatever. Okay, and that will re return your results. So uh, the minus sign is pretty helpful as well. Now you can also do, um, let's do this. If you're curious how like Obama voted, okay, if you throw in an asterisk on the bill, you can look and you can kind of, if you hit this, it kind of works as a magical fill in the blank. And what it'll do is you'll see here, Obama voted no on the bill. So you can kind of see that you can use this if you don't know the results you're actually looking for, you just know some specifics, then you can actually type in this little asterisk and it'll work as a magic fill in the blank. So that one's a pretty handy little tool. A lot of people don't really use that, but it's it's nice to use in combination. Uh, but any of those combinations uh, work very well.
and there are many more. If you're curious of more of the search operators, you can always go to Google and just type in search operators. Oops, it would help if we spell search correct though. Okay, um, other than that, you can get those little search operators on Google and that should get you started.